Tonight, we're gonna use advanced astrophotography techniques to capture a stacked and blended photo of the Milky Way, all on iPhone. First, we'll set up our tripod, point it at the sky, and take a few exposures of our Milky Way. Then, we'll reposition our camera, take a few exposures of the foreground. Later, we'll go back home and I'll show you how we'll blend them together. Let's get shooting. Tonight, we're gonna to be using an app called PhotoPills. With this app, it has an AR camera feature that allows us to see right through the lens to exactly where the Milky Way is in the sky. With the feature, I can find exactly where it is and position it in the middle of my frame. Once I've got that, I can open up the native camera app, make sure I've got night mode 30 seconds, and now we can start capturing. To automate this process, I've got my creation Lumilapse here, and this is a Bluetooth intervalometer which loops the 30 second night mode photos. Link in description. I forgot my torch and typically I would light paint, but I'm going 2x on my exposure, tap to focus and let's capture. Today, we're gonna to use an application called Sequator. It's a PC application and you have a MacBook. How is that gonna work? Well, I'll show you a fun little trick using another free program called Whiskey to emulate the program Sequator to run on your MacBook. Once Sequator is open, select all your Milky Way exposures and then select where you'd like to save the stack. For the settings, I'm gonna select and turn them all on if you'd like a more produced photo. For the reduced light pollution, keep it in the middle. For a more natural look, keep it towards the left in the weak section. Now we have an amazing Milky Way stack. And now for our foreground, I'm gonna do some minor tweaks in Lightroom. And once I've got the image to my satisfaction, I can open it up as a smart object in Photoshop. Once in Photoshop, we wanna go sky replace and we wanna to tweak to make sure that the light pollution coming up has a natural fade in into the Milky Way stack. Then we wanna make sure we are not covering the foreground elements. We wanna select it via a mask and paint our mask in black. Once our layers are cleaned up, we're gonna commit all visible layers to a new layer, convert to smart object and do some minor tweaks. Here is our DSLR-like finished product. Wow, that looks sensational. This isn't about faking it. It's about getting the most out of our tiny iPhone sensors and showing what skills we can do when we put our minds to it. Try stacking in your next Astro Capture. You'll never go back. If you'd like to see me do some more videos on stacking, please leave your feedback in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. For now, this has been Stacking Milky Way Exposures all captured on an iPhone. I'll catch you in the next one.